Morning Year 3, happy Monday and welcome to your third week of remote learning. Now today is Monday so we are going to be doing our SPAG learning for English and today we are going to be having a look at inverted commas, so speech marks. So we've got two people here who are having a conversation, Leon and Aisha. Hi Aisha, I like your new top. Thank you, it's new. I wore it for my birthday party. So we've got speech in this way, so we can have speech bubbles where people are talking. But when we're writing our stories, we can't necessarily have that. So we have our speech marks, which we've done some work on, but we're going to do a little bit more work on it today. So if there is no speech bubbles, how can we turn this into speech text? Pause the video here for me and have a think about what do we need to do to be able to turn speech bubbles into speech in a text. Okay, so hopefully you've had a little think about this. Now, if we want to have speech within a text, we need to be able to use our inverted commas. So this is what it will turn into. We've got our inverted commas with everything that Leon says, and then you find out who has said it. And exactly the same with everything that Aisha replied. Um, we don't necessarily have to have said words. We've got some alternatives here, replied and things like that. Now we're in year three, we really want to start to think about alternative said words to make it really exciting to read. So there are a few things we need to remember for our speech rules. So when somebody starts speaking, we always start a new line. If that is a new person speaking, we still do. Every single time someone new speaks, it's new line. We open up our speech marks with our inverted commas. Now it looks a bit different on um, computer, but remember this is our 66s and 99s. So 99s to open up. We start the sentence with a capital letter. Whatever our speech is, we finish it with a comma, a question mark or an exclamation mark. We close our speech marks as well. And then we need to say who said it or whatever alternative word. This part can go at the top or even in the middle of speech as well. That's when we start to get really confident with using our speech marks. We can move that said part around as well. So thinking about those rules, what I'd like you to do now, I've got four um, sentences for you and I'd like you to pause the video, grab yourself some scrap paper or whiteboard if you've got one of those at home. Can you write out those four sentences using the correct speech rules for me please? So pause the video and have a go. Okay, so let's have a little look what we managed um, to come up with here. So, um, it says here, I enjoy, um, open speech marks, capital letter, I enjoy playing at the park, comma, close speech marks, murmured a mirror, full stop on the end. The sun is out and the sky is blue within our speech marks, comma, replied Jay. My friends make me smile, comma, explained Beatrice. I love Fridays, exclamation mark, shouted Ruben. So remember, we can have a question mark, a comma, or an exclamation mark at the end there. Now, I really want to see you learning your speech today and really checking all of those rules. So the rest of the session today is for you to um, complete the quiz that is under your assignments. Now it is um, just questions with a textbook, so it won't tell you if you've got it correct or not. I'll have a look at it later. Um, but you just need to write your speech properly. Now, if you are using a keyboard to be able to get your speech marks, you need to press the shift button and then the number two, and that will open your speech marks and close your speech marks. It's the same one. If you prefer to um, write the answers on paper and then upload a picture um, on tapestry, that's absolutely fine, whatever way you find easiest. Tomorrow we will be um, looking at our independent writing with um, My Name Is Not Refugee. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.